Hello viewers, it's SuperGT here, welcome to the video. Now, this is going to be reverse engineering number one. And I'm going to explain what that is in just a moment. As we go into turn one, we're going to head towards the apex. And this guy's going to go flying out of nowhere. And we're going to pause it. Because this is where reverse engineering starts. So we're going to go back to my car here on the replay. And in reverse engineering, we try to work out the cause of the crashes in Forza. So we can see there, that's the collision. And it's caused by this alpha. Okay, so here he is. We're going to go back to the very start of the race. Just to see what kind of frame of mind this guy's in. Okay, so off the line we go. Guy next to him doesn't start. A couple of guys back there not starting. Actually, there's a collision back there already. So off the line we go. He's going to go to the inside of the Aston. Okay, yeah, all good so far. And then... <laughs> well, I don't know how you describe that. Let's look at the telemetry. Okay, 100% throttle, 100%. It should be breaking about now. Still 100%. Oh, he's released it there. And he's on the brakes now. But that is a good 100 metres at least too late. So he's going to go flying in. Luckily, he misses me, although I, do, I get hit as well. It's straight into the Subaru 22B. 22B goes flying through the gap. And this guy's just going to cause carnage. Look at that. And he actually ends up facing the right way. So he's actually quite lucky from all of that. So on board with the Subaru who got totally wrecked. He actually gets a very good launch straight off into the inside. Second place now. And as we go in, he's quite conservative on the brakes. But then he gets a helping hand from the Alpha. Just honestly shocking driving. What was that guy thinking? So now on board with this Alpha, which started near enough the back. Make America great again. Trump, very interesting. Into the back of a BMW. Into the back of another BMW. Into the back of... No, okay, it goes through him. So quite a long way back this guy is. Is he going to avoid most of the kinds? I imagine he would from back here. It looks like absolute chaos through there, though. Look at that. And this guy's just going to come through, extend the corner massively, and actually catch up with most people here. So well done to Alpha. He, did not too, he didn't do too badly out of all that. Let's see how well this guy did in the Toyota. Keeping a rather central line into the first corner actually swerving about a little bit locks up the brakes almost into the lancia then he just gets smashed off by the bmw into the lancia as well the lancia just avoiding the back of the miura there very close to crashing so this guy's race is just completely ruined so he's down in last now because of that so on board with that bmw Fearless is the game attack, clearly living up to his name. So as he got straight into the first corner, 100% throttle still. Still 100% throttle. You should, really should think about braking now. Still 100%. And only now has he started putting the brakes on, which is too late. Even when there's no one there, that's too late. It's too late when there's about 15 people right in front of you. And he's locking up. And smash, there he goes. The cameraman can't even keep up. He's just wiped out two people just from very, very poor driving. Extremely bad. Zero out of ten, I'll give that. Zero. Okay, so let's take a look from the view of the Subaru. Got wrecked on turn one. Into the S's. Oh my god, that is an orgy in there. Look at that. Supra and the mini sideways. Alpha into the wall. No, he's going to come across and smash the other guy off. That's just shocking. Absolutely shocking. BMW everywhere. What the hell is going on? We're going to look at that again. So the Alpha's coming through turn two. Mini on the inside. Okay. It's getting quite close for comfort now. We've got a Lancer just behind us as well. Into the turn. Massive Constantino effect. The BMW breaks quite early up ahead. Alpha tries to go round. Just makes contact. And he's forced wide. But it's this part which is very silly. Coming back across the track. Bang. BMW off. Other guy off. Lancia almost collected. And that has just triggered a massive incident. Which did not need to happen. Then into the next section. Subaru seems to have recovered his bodywork. Seems to have fixed itself. Coming into here. Minding his own business. And then. Oh look who it is. Mr Fearless in the BMW comes out of nowhere. Just rams him off. In an absolutely shocking diabolical move. And that's his race over. Or maybe he'll seek revenge for another day. So let's see all that from the point of view of someone who was a bit further back. It's so coming into the S's. 
contact between the Supra and the Mini. They go left. You see the Alpha on the right. He's just going to come across. At this point, the Alpha should be breaking and just letting everyone go. It's the right thing to do. But no, he's going to come back. Smash that guy. And then Alpha's going to go off to the right. Okay. This guy's going to come back on. Lucky not to collect anyone. Collision with the Supra. That was a bit silly. And then into the left-hander. The BMW is just going to come out of nowhere, smash the Subaru for no good reason. And then he's going to come back through past the Supra, is he? Almost. He's losing control of this car. It looks like he's got a drift tune on it. Now coming through into the infield section, Supra and the BMW extending massively. Supra just turns across. He's retaliating for something there. He's sticking up for his buds who have been wiped out by the BMW. And this guy's going to wipe him out as well. And the Subaru is going to go for a lunge. And he just goes through the gap. Look at that. And he's just fired himself off, basically, into the wall. Goodbye, my friend. BMW's off. He got punted by the Supra. So it looks like everyone's against the BMW here. So back to my race. In the end, it was a very close one, actually. I managed to reel in second place. And the guy in second is actually one of my favourite tuners in the game. Um, I'm not going to try to say his name, but he is one of the best tuners for me, anyway. Seems to suit my style. GTZ Lucifer in the lead, winning the race. So we all know him from the community battles I did a couple of months ago against Attacks Johnson. He was winning many of the races. And there are the final results. So that is going to bring close to the end of reverse engineering number one. I've done a couple of these before and people seem to really like it. So please let me know if you want to see plenty more of reverse engineering and I'll try to do a lot more of them. But that is going to bring close to this video guys. Hit that like button if you did like the video. Subscribe for more of the same. And I shall see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.